Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. Okay, so today we're having a look at a kit from Zvezda. I hope I pronounced that correctly. They are a Russian model manufacturer and this is their German sniper team World War II in 135th scale. As you can see, you get four figures in the kit, two snipers and two observers. All right, wearing camouflage clothing. All right. Looks like it's going to be a really nice little kit to have a look at. All right, so that's the box art. Let's have a look at the side of the box. So, so this side here, we have your color chart for the figures. So you got Tamiya and Zvezda. Doesn't tell you what colors they are, just gives you the color number. Kit number is 3595. Usual warnings, it does give you Zvezda's address in Russia. Okay, also tells you 135 scale, 54 parts, and they're approximately 5 millimeters high. Okay, so usual warnings about 14 plus, etc. On the other side, just advertising for four more of Zvezda's um, figure kits. Right, so this one you've got your Soviet sniper team, Red Army Infantry. German Gerbex Jager and German Stern Pioneers. Okay, four more kits, all in 135th scale. And on the back, you have here exactly what the kit uh, contains two gems, diapers, two observers, and terrain elements, which I am assuming is just this shield here. 135th scale, 54 parts five centimeters in height okay so that's the box fairly simple fairly straightforward let's have a look grab my knife and we will have a look inside and see what we've got okay and that's it plus instructions nothing else in the box a warning sheet in multiple languages 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 different languages warnings and cautions instruction sheet which is just one simple A4 fold out again warnings etc it consists of etc sprue layout Okay, so what you have here is the painting of the figures. All right, so you have got Humbrol colors in um, English and Russian. On the other side, this is your construction. So fairly basic, straightforward, separate heads, which is nice, separate helmets, okay, arms, binoculars, rifles. So, as you can see, one figure is in the prone. He has a, I would say, probably a wooden canvas shield. You've got two figures on their knees, three figures on their knees. So, one observer, two observers on their knees. Okay, and the other figure is the sniper on his knees. Fairly straightforward, fairly easy construction. All right, so... That's the instructions. Let's have a look in the bag. So, as it showed you in the instructions, literally two sprues only. Fairly straightforward. Okay, so we'll put that one aside. This is your first sprue. And as you can see, detail is really nice. Okay. So this is the back, of course, so you can see the back of the figures. There is your MP4T. Not too bad. Okay, not too bad, not super duper, but really not too bad. Separate hood. Face coverings, which I like, which is what German snipers did use. Let's have a look at the face. Okay. The oh, sorry, should try and keep that in focus. 
the faces. There's the other one. There he is. I wouldn't say the faces are fantastically detailed, but 35th scale, they should paint up okay. It's a nice bit of detail on the helmet here, which I'll give you a close-up shot of in a second. Alright, this looks like it's got chicken wire on it. So let's have a look at the other side. Okay, so these guys are wearing camouflage smocks. So the folds in the smocks and in the arms, pretty good. Nice interior detailing on the helmet. I like that. So overall, what I've seen so far, no flash. And the detailing is... Um, Pretty good these should paint up quite nicely even to the ammo containers magazines i should say containers sorry for the mp40s okay so let's put that one aside And we'll have a look at the next one. Okay, so let's have a look. The most important thing, the K98 Sniper. Yep, does have a hole for the strap. So you'd probably want to put a strap on there, like a loose strap. That is the Sniper Shield. That could be painted at almost any colour. Again, Really nice uniform detail. Yes, they are wearing camouflage smocks, so and ankle boots, so that's not a problem. So the detail on the rifles, yeah. Yes, you could probably use an aftermarket rifle, sniper rifle from Mini Art or someone like that. But I think these would be quite good once they're in the hands. You won't notice it. There is a little bit of mould line on the water bottles. And the attachment point on the sprue is quite heavy. But apart from that, so let's have a look at the other side. Uniform detail again. Not bad. Like I said, they are wearing... Camouflage box, that's your helmet detail. So yes, there is a band around the helmet, like German soldiers used to do. They would normally cut them out of old inner tubes or something, stretch it around the helmet, and keep a bit of grass or something on the helmet that way. Faces on this one. Again, not too bad. Like they're not super duper uh, Dragon Gen 2s or 3s or whatever but these are not too bad at all actually they'll paint up really nicely okay and that is it That's all you get. So if you're looking for a sniper team, and there are a few out there, I know there are uh, Russians, etc. This is not bad, all right? Nice poses. You do get a periscope accessory. Um, yeah, and um, I'm actually looking forward to putting these onto a little diorama or something like that very shortly all right so we'll keep an eye on that anyway i hope you got something from this one it is a short one and as usual thanks for watching and until next time take it easy